I like I like how I ask where's the closest airship and then just launch us before the yeah, answer. Just forward. It's fine. Oh, this is great. Good tough moment right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is great because like what a terrifying scenario for these guys. <laughs> They've never seen anybody metal bend. No. And all of a sudden, this little girl becomes the door. Yeah. Like. And they're like, what is happening? I also like how I knocked in tune. Yeah. No, that's great. I love you scuttling across the sky. I also, like, can't see anything. I mean, I can see, like, on the ship, obviously, because mm -hmm. there's metal. But, like, I can't. We're just flying through the air. I'm at a loss. Yeah, that's right. Take the wheel. That's a great idea. Let the blind, Let the blind girl steer the, steer the giant airship. airship. Yeah. Wow. Look, I'm like in a dream right now. 12 year old me is like freaking out. And 20 year old me is like, relax, be cool. Attention, crew. This is your captain speaking. It's Wang Fire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that his name? Wang Fire and Sapphire Fire? I think right? so, yeah. yeah. That... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, where the war know. crimes start happening. Mm -hmm. They just start knocking ships together. Yep. Chaos ensues. I'm Quinn Lee. I work up in communications. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I worked down in the engine. <laughs> oh, hi. So, do you know whose birthday it is? The I fact that they inserted. <laughs> really there oh we go. Gosh. I love that. That's so. The good. fact that they inserted that whole little pre scene before the guy said, "Oh, my birthday!" <laughs> like, just shows the brilliance of this. They like need these comedic moments. Uh, Otherwise, this would be too way much. too intense. Yeah. This is just so much. It's also kind of a reminder that anytime there's like something perilous and life changing happening, there's also just normal life happening somewhere else. Yeah, no, for it's sure. Like... <laughs> I I love them just at work. Yeah. Like, like hey, <laughs> before headed, this headed to war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my birthday cupcake. We need to stay focused on stopping that fleet from burning down the Earth Kingdom. And how do we do that, Captain Boomerang? Gotta I gotta toss in a, a nickname in the midst of war. It'll be a rough ride. If we make it that far, I'll let you know. Smooth. So, so smooth. smooth. <laughs> I wish it was a little longer, though. Yeah? Not I enough like, of a smooth? Yeah, I feel like it needs to be a bit more of just, like, we might implode. I feel like it's I reasonable <laughs> as their ship, like, doesn't uh, a nose grind on every other ship. Yeah. <laughs> I love Sokka constantly keeping you from falling dude, to your dude, death. thank like, God, yeah. because otherwise I would just be gone. <laughs> like... There's no way. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm getting the flashbacks yeah. now. This was all way too intense for me. So intense. And then he protects me and he covers my head. Oh. As I casually try to metal bend on top of like a falling airship. Get some grip in there. <laughs> Sweet it is that you invented metal bending. <laughs> you could stand to mention it more. You could stand to mention it more. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Gosh, I hated this part. I have like, I have faint memories of recording this episode just being being intense. I mean, yes, all of us were like in the studio recording together, but like there was so much danger and like real, real danger. Normally, I can I can hold my own. In this one, uh, -uh. my life is solely dependent on Sokka. Like, dude, Sokka's killing it right now. I'm sad about his sword, though. Sorry, bud. It looks like this Oof. is the end. <sighs> that impact happened, and we didn't fall off. Suki did. Suki did. So just Suki and Sokka both have saved my life multiple times now. <laughs> Maybe that's their their couple pastime. Is like, ah, oh, remember when we were falling in love and just saved Toph's ass, like. 3,000 times. 